Doom, the game that has so much testosterone in it, it would make your granny grow balls playing it. It's everyone's favorite gore-filled blood-splattering adventure game. And I, the Wussy Wizard, remade the game, but with spheres. And a little bit shittier, but let's not talk about that. So I jumped into Unreal Engine 4 and started making this top-down shooter template. And my guy, look at that sexy spinning cursor. So the premise of the game is that a planet is being attacked by demons and it needs to be evacuated. So they send you, the Doom Sphere, to distract the demons while they're evacuating the planet. The first and biggest obstacle I needed to get past was how to make the gore system. There are many different ways to make gore slash dismemberment systems. One is cutting up the model in multiple pieces such as arms, legs, torso, head. And then when the limb takes enough damage, it falls off. Oi. But instead I chose to utilize UE4's procedural mesh, which has a slice function so you can dynamically slice meshes depending on how a bullet hit it, for example. So, with the gore system done, I decided to improve the player model a bit. Because who wants to play as a boring sphere? So I got a great idea. I just searched up and just took the first picture, dragged it into Photoshop, cropped out his head, and BOOM! A finished player model. And with the player model, I also added a dash with this super cool shader, which is using world offsets with some noise and some emissive material to make it glow and look very nice. Now it's time for the enemies. I have made three kinds of enemies, as well as a big boss boy. First, we have the Baldi. This guy is very fast and has a very long attack range. And when he gets in range, he leaps towards you. To balance his speed and attack range out, I gave him 1 HP, so he's easy to kill when he's alone. But if they come in numbers, they can be very hard to deal with. And then, we have the Horny Boy. This guy is like the Baldi. Only slower and doesn't have as much attack range. But he has more HP in form of a shield, which all the bigger enemies have. The energy shield is a basic tiling texture with some glow on it, and also a slight fresnel effect, which makes it look very nice and very energy shield B. As you see, each time an enemy gets hit, the shield lights up, and when the shield runs out of HP, it explodes in a bunch of shards. Then we also have the fatty, with a robot eye and a double chin. He is someone you should fear. The fatty is a ranged enemy that shoots big energy balls at you. He's pretty easy to dodge as long as you keep an eye on him. And at this point I was like, damn, this game only has three enemies and one gun and some pretty shitty textures. So I started to improve the environment a bit. I started making this sick stone texture with some sexy normal maps on it. And here's the final result. Pretty nice, huh? I also added this tiny mountains and this big ass cool chain and some lava cracks in the ground with some iron bars covering it. So we've got some night lighting going on here. I also made an other enemy, an observer or a beholder. It's basically a big ball with a big eye. So this guy shoots a huge laser out of his face. So try to not get hit, cause that shit will hurt. Next up, guns. First I modeled and added a shotgun and slapped some sexy texture on that. And the shotgun sound I made feels super cool and impactful. I also modeled and textured a rocket launcher, which is also pretty cool, not gonna lie. And now it's time for the glory kills slash execution. So I started to model a chainsaw sword and texture it, added some animation, and voila, it works Oi. perfectly. <coughs> So I fixed whatever issue that was and now it works perfectly. I also added some ammo drops and some health. So every time you execute an enemy, you get some health back and some special ammo drops for your other weapons. Alright, so now I'll explain how the game actually works. But first, if you aren't subscribed, subscribe now. Only 7.5% of you who are watching are subscribed. So sub now and join the Cool Kids Club. 
So how the game works is that you fall down from the sky, crashing into the planet. Your objective, start the beacon. After the beacon has been powered, demon portals will start opening and demons will pop out and try to kill you. So you need to survive. Utilizing your execute and switching between your weapons with the 1, 2, 3 keys. And all this just to prepare yourself, cause after 5 rounds, the boss comes. A big cowboy he will charge at you, scream at you, and shoot rockets up in the sky that will then fall down with devastating power. And this game you can play for free right now on my itch page. So go there, download it, and have fun. I will see you in the next video whenever that comes out, and have a great day.